For this project, you will only need a pencil and a ruler. If you have fancy drawing pencils, you can use them. Um, if you only have mechanical, that's okay. But I highly recommend using a wooden pencil as it is easier to erase if mistakes or when mistakes are made. To begin our project, you are going to need to create a five by seven box. To create that five by seven box, you're going to use your ruler and you will need to measure out five inches. Now, before you even just draw a line across, I want you to make sure that your ruler is nice and straight on your paper so you don't get a crooked line. You may start with lightly drawing your five inch line and on every inch line, starting at this very first line at the end of the ruler, you are going to make a dash mark. So I made one dash here. I'll make a dash at the one inch, two inch, three inch, four, and five. These dash lines must be extremely light. Your line should look like this and should be five inches long. What we are doing is making the space that you are going to do your final drawing in, which is only going to be a five by seven. Once you have finished your five inch line, you are going to, I might have to start at, let's see, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you're going to have to draw a line, make sure it's nice and straight that is seven inches long. Now, I didn't have enough space on the side of my desk for me to start at zero, so I had to go from five to 12. And just like we did on the first line, you're going to keep your ruler right on the line that you just drew. And at the five inch mark, make a nice light dash, six inch, seven inch, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Please double check that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces along this line. If you do, you should have five going down and seven going across. Sorry, it's the other way around five going across, seven inches going down. Once you have completed these two lines, you are going to rotate your paper. Line your ruler up. So the very first line on your ruler starts at the end of the seven inch line. Okay, I scoot my paper over, sorry. Okay, there we go. I've made sure that this very first line lines up with the end of my seven inch line. I'm going to make sure my ruler is straight and when it is, I'm going to lightly draw a line connecting to my seven inch line. Okay, it's super light, kind of hard to see, but it's there. Ooh, it looks like I missed it. Let me redraw that. Now, the reason we want to draw super light for this is because eventually all of these lines are going to be erased. But the grid that we are making on this paper today must be completely accurate. Okay, so I'll explain how we're going for accuracy here in just a second. So on your five inch line that you just made, you're going to make dash marks at the one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, and the five. Your line should look like the very first line that you drew in the beginning. All right, let me rotate this paper so it's easier for you to see. Hopefully that is better. Now, once you have all three sides drawn and dash marks at every inch, 
we are going to finish this five by seven box by connecting our top two lines. Please double check that it is seven inches. Goodness. There we go. So you want your box to be seven inches across, looks like mine is. I'm going to line my ruler up with the top of both my five inch lines on the side. I'm going to lightly draw a line across. As we did with all the other lines, you are then going to make a dash mark at the one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seven is going to be this vertical line on the side. You should have five inches on one side, seven inches on the other. This is a five by seven box. Now these dash marks are extremely important to helping us create very straight grid lines that are going to cover this five by seven box that you just made. These grid lines are going to help you get an accurate drawing. This is called the grid drawing technique. It is a, um, a technique that I use in my own artwork Many famous artists all over the world use this type of method to help get accurate drawings. If you wanna draw um, what you see in a picture, you'll probably wanna use this grid drawing tool so that way you can get it 100% accurate. Now you're going to line your ruler up with one dash mark on the seven inch line. And you're going to then line the other end of your ruler up to the other dash mark on the line parallel to that seven inch line. Once your ruler is touching both of these dash marks, very, very lightly draw in your grid line. You wanna draw this so light that if you erase it, you won't see that line anymore. And this line, or these grid lines will eventually be erased. So drawing them lightly now is going to help you later. While making your grid, you should be working very slowly and carefully. You shouldn't have any other distractions around you. You don't want any other distractions around you because if so, these lines will end up not being straight. So notice here I took my ruler, lined it up to this dash mark, and took the other end of the ruler and lined it up to this dash mark, and lightly drew in a grid line. Go ahead and do this for all the dash marks on the seven inch lines. While you do that, let me explain what happens if any of these lines are not straight. So we'll be taking a picture of our own still life arrangements. Maybe you already have. And then I am going to place a five by seven grid on top of your still life picture that you took. Your grid that goes on top of your photo will look just like the one that we're drawing here in this five by seven box. When we have this entire grid drawn and the grid is put onto your still life arrangement photo, you are going to draw what you see in the bottom box of your photo into the bottom box of your five by seven. Now, if these lines are all wonky and not straight, you will not get an accurate drawing. So for this project, we're, we're aiming for accuracy, but we're also looking to enhance our observation skills. So you are going to have to observe what is taking place in one box at a time. As you draw, you'll work box by box by box. But if your boxes are not straight and perfect boxes, it is going to make your whole drawing off. And Right now, I just want to give you the tools that you might need in order to create an accurate drawing. So once you have connected all your dash marks on the seven inch lines, 
Go ahead and turn your paper. Using your ruler, you are going to connect dash marks on the first five inch line down to the dash mark at the other end. Just a reminder, we are drawing extremely light so that way we can erase these lines after we have everything drawn in. Notice how straight and perfect this looks. Your entire grid should look like a, um, a table made on a, a Google Doc or a Word document. Nice straight and lightly drawn lines are going to help you be successful in this project. If you draw too dark, you won't be able to erase these lines later, and it's actually going to scar your paper. So when we go to add shading to our drawings and you try to draw over your really darkly drawn grid lines, um, it's not going to let you shade that space. All those old lines are gonna show through your shading. So draw light until it's right. Your grid should look like this. Once you are done, you are going to upload a picture of your grid so that way I know that you have it taken care of and you've done it correctly. Please make sure you're checking the comment section of this assignment so that way if you did it wrong, you have time to fix it before our next class time.